Alrighty guys, join us at Hatta along the mighty Murray. It is absolutely perfect here. So make sure you like and subscribe. We're sharing amazing free camps just like this one. And comment in the comments if you have been here and ex experienced these amazing sandbars along the mighty Murray. So join us and check it out. Alrighty, camp is all set up. Cool, that sun's nice and bright. Uh, we had plans to go to Billabong Bend. Um, we thought it was around the other side, so New South Wales side of the Murray, but it is on the Victorian side. My maps just took me God knows where, but we got to Billabong Bend and there were a couple of campers, so we kept on going, probably like a kilometer. Kilometer further up the track has just come this beautiful, big open spacious sandbar and we've got it all to ourselves. So we've absolutely scored here. It's just beautiful. So as well as a lot of carp, they've been catching a lot of yabbies in the Murray River. So we're gonna try our luck to get a feed of yabbies. What's the bait? Liver. Nice. Kidney, something. Yep. Yeah. I don't think it is. Oh, go Luca. What do you reckon he is? Carp. You reckon? Definitely a carp. Mm. Nice. He barely fought. <laughs> I'm tired. We're off to an absolute cracking start on this trip already. <laughs> so we have no bucket. Uh, yep, so we've improvised and I've got a cord of like Anderson plugs and fridge cords and just 12 volt accessories. So we've uh, cleaned that out and this is now our makeshift bucket. Which is fine. It's doing the job. Uh, but we've just come to the realize that we're halfway through making some coffees and we haven't got any mugs. No mugs at all. So we're improvised and we've got some bowls on the go. <laughs> coffee bowls. Anyone? We're starting a new fad, coffee bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and in amongst it, Danica caught her first fish. So yeah, exactly. it, it, look, it's not all bad. Pros and cons. <laughs> Is it? Delicious. Yeah? <laughs> no different. <laughs> no ice. Mm. The day is certainly on the turn because we have some yabbies in the pots uh, starting to build up. So we're definitely having yabbies for lunch today. But first is breakfast. Uh, can't go wrong with bacon egg muffins. Yeah. So the yummy baits of choice have been liver or kidney, I think it is, and chicken necks and a little bit of cat food. Uh, cat food yet to catch nothing, but the liver and the chicken necks going okay. First cast, got a yabby on, got a good bite, got a snag, and he's stuck under a log, but luckily Danica's come past on the paddle board. But... Just hold on to it. It should be able to, hang on, it's not coming, is it? Just try and wheel it in, see what happens. Double hookup. It's getting heaps of bites, but couldn't seem to get it to land. And then I got a decent bite and actually managed to catch him. And it was pretty disappointed as I seen it surface and it was just a carp. But then I realised as I was coming in, my second hook actually had a nice little silver perch on him. Double hook up. Very nice.
cabbies are in. Nice. How many did we catch? Dozen? Twenty? Not too bad for the middle of the day. Cannot go past a camp oven camping, so really looking forward to this. It's been a couple of trips that we've been without our trusty old camp oven. We've done that many meals in it, but she's coming out tonight for lamb shanks. So it's only about 25 degrees here and it is April and we've still been plastered by the sun. So as beautiful is, uh, this Hatter spot is absolutely amazing, but as beautiful as it is, you would not want to be here in summer, especially on a sandbar like this. Anyone? <laughs> that was dramatic. They were going for ages. It would have took you bait. Really? I said. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a big carp. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's your wine like? That's great. Gee, it had a good go at that, didn't it? It's gonna go under the boat. Oh. <laughs> Big car. A stalker. Nice. No bigger than yours. Oh, that's a bit bigger than mine. Fought well. It did fight well. Really Just well. Took it. Nice work. Fisherman shit. Fisherman shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fisherman shan. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Don't lose him. 
get a photo. Yes. Ooh, nice. So, slight change of plans with dinner. We're not having lamb shanks and potatoes. We're gonna be having the potatoes now because we're hungry and the lamb shanks are still got a little while to go. <laughs> so. And I have no tongs, so they're a bit messy, but so far so good. I haven't got any sand in them because I was tossing them around with a shovel, tossing them around with a peg, making do, improvising. Oh, this one has a hole in it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Who doesn't love a good bake spud on the fire? If you love a good bake spud on the fire, put a comment in here. We want to see on this video, if you love a bake spud, what sort of toppings you love on it. We're going to be extremely basic on this trip, but if you check out some of our other videos, we do all sorts of fancy toppings on top of our baked spuds and absolutely love going bonkers with it. Uh, but this one's going to be extremely basic. But put in the comments what you love to put on your baked spuds, definitely. Sounded big. Yeah, that was. Mm. Oh, oh. Got a fish, shrimp, yabby, something. <laughs> Little fish. Yeah, something crawling in my ankles. Wow, yeah, same. So the surface that normally implies carp. You're dragging him though. Yeah. Oh, he's in the side or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a cod. What? Cod. Oh, wow. Oh, a yellow belly. That's a cod. A cod. Oh, holy shit. Good size. Fuck hell. Oh. That was a good size. Did not expect that. That was weird. He must have been tangled around it. It was like on his side for a bit there. That one too. Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, it's a good size. This sandbar is just huge. So much space, a few trees for some shade. But we have this sandbar all to ourselves. It's an absolutely beautiful spot. And I reckon what, within five kilometers, there'd be like 10 other sandbars like this. Yeah. Both see, sides. Even on busy long weekends and public holidays and stuff like that, you could still find an amazing spot where you got some distance from people. So uh, yeah, it's, it's great. What's cooking good looking? BLT. What an absolutely beautiful spot this is in Hadakalkayan National Park. It is absolutely peaceful. It's pretty much a long weekend because we've got Anzac Day in between one extra day. So anywhere else is gonna be absolutely busy with people taking an extra long weekend, except for we've got this massive whole campsite campground, sandbar, whatever you want to call it, the whole place to ourselves. If it wasn't 25 degrees and sunny, you could definitely camp down there right on the sand, it would be beautiful. And if you're someone that likes safer spots, there's an absolutely beautiful spot up here. While it is under the gum trees, they're pretty big, they've been there for a long time, uh, but it's much leveler up there and a little bit firmer underfoot as well.
punch. We love sharing all sorts of camping places like this. A lot of them are beautiful free camps like this on amazing sandbars. So subscribe to the channel because there's going to be heaps more as well.